Now to Aurora, where Mayor Michael Kaufman is calling on the police department to try to help make Aurora better. This weekend, protesters took over I-20, uh, I-225, that is, stopping traffic, and people stormed city buildings while demanding justice for Elijah McClain. Vandals shattered countless windows at the Aurora Municipal Building. That's where our Jacqueline Quinn is back live this morning, and the damage, of course, remains. Now the cleanup begins, Jacqueline. It does. You can see it in the courtyard area. These windows here are boarded up. But, you know, notably, the fencing is there over where the police departments are and some of those offices over there. This is the court building and uh, no fencing here. And we know that police were sort of backed off a bit. Uh, they did not move in. They didn't make any arrests. And that has the mayor and leaders asking, you know, what was the plan and really what happened as they total up the cost right now. So uh, protesters were able to take down, however, some of the fencing here uh, around the building. They smashed in windows. They even lit fireworks outside and then took off uh, some of the wood covering some of the windows here. And Wanda, once the protesters got inside, they attempted to start a fire. They were successful in one of the offices because it did catch on fire, although that was put out shortly after. Now, it's unclear how much this damage will total, but a city councilman says the community could really feel the cost of these repairs. In the past, what had happened is that the police would react, and as they reacted, uh, you know, these people would, would jump to and, and try to do the damage. In this case, the police stood back. It's a tough time for the city. We're looking at a $25 million deficit this year and a $30 million deficit next year. So these will all come out of city programs, and we don't know what those programs are yet. Now, police also said that the people who broke into the courthouse, they were wearing masks or face coverings, and the security system or camera was also tampered with, so it makes it harder to track down those people. We'll continue to monitor this. For now, reporting in Aurora, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First. Thank you.